I go to like 12 step groups. I go to NA and different other groups on ITR and um, it's not Zoom, it's just a it's just a different platform. And I really do like it. Um, and I chair um, a couple of places and sometimes um, I feel like kind of this is my sad season this is September I had like six months of this um, and I'm just getting over COVID and I'm not really able to share in meetings I feel because I still have like the cough and stuff so I'm more able to control it if I like do one of these um, but today I was like in meetings and people were talking about shame and um, people were talking about like a couple of times I heard in different meetings today um, I'm not taking medication now I was able to get off my meds even though some people the same people were saying that they're really struggling mentally and stuff I'm not ashamed that I take medication. I just want to make it clear that there is no shame in taking medication. There are some medications that make you like really um, stoned and out of it and you get addicted and you have to take more and more and more and more. And those aren't the kind of medications that I take. I'm an addict. I take lithium and I take two antidepressants. I take an, um, a mood stabilizer and an overactive bladder med. Um, so it makes me a normal person. It makes me, I, I'm going through a lot in the groups and stuff, especially in working with my fellow traveler in ACA. And it's bringing out when I was really young, at a really young age, and I remember a lot of that stuff. And even when I wasn't taking the right meds, but I was on some medications, and not necessarily addictive meds, but just not the right meds. It took them eight years to diagnose me with bipolar one, and I was a freak. I wasn't a normal person. Um, so I can kind of go like, you know, um, have normal life and normal friends, but I've chosen not to work. Um, I'm exhausted, especially from COVID right now, but I get exhausted really easily. I've also been told I'm an HSP. A uh, highly sensitive person so it's really hard to na navigate life and um, I get help I'm blessed my mom has some help um, monetarily and I also um, I'm on ODSP so it's um, disability for my province Ontario and um, I live with a roommate so it helps with rent I have two cats I just, I just feel kind of down because when I hear people saying that meds are some sort of a weakness, it just depends. Maybe they didn't have bipolar one. There are some things that you might be a weakness for, but um, one of my favorite things about medication is I used to have suicidal ideation and the lithium it seems like it's taken that away for the most part. So I can live and I don't have to worry about that distraction. Um, anyway, I just wanted people to know it's not a weakness. Um, if it doesn't work for you, if you don't feel right on it. Like, I don't feel as clear-headed as without the meds, but also I was psychotic without the meds. So, you know... I mean, it's just hard because I just feel like really sensitive. So it's hard to be in meetings and hear 
people say things and other people have told me that they feel um the things that i say are hard for them to hear too so i i get it and it's good to be real and it's good for me to know and it's it's just everybody's in a different place and that's kind of the way it is so it's cool if you guys if if it helps you to go to meetings then great if not find whatever makes you feel good 